today's video, I'm going to give you my top three best blind buy fragrances ever. I hope you guys enjoy this list. I'm not sure if you are, but let's go. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Fragrance. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a fragrance YouTuber on YouTube. I talk about men's fragrance reviews and female perfumes. I give you my honest opinion on them 100%. I'm not paid by any company at all. So I hope you guys understand that. I do a lot of free giveaways on my channel to support my channel and support the 3,500 something subscribers I have on my channel. I like to show my support by doing a lot of giveaways because people can't afford fragrances. And I understand that coming from a person off camera, I'm just a normal person. You know, I work a regular day job. Sometimes I work a lot of overtime to buy extra fragrances. And sometimes I work a lot of overtime to get a little fragrance and try to give away on my channel just to show my support. Just because you watch my videos, I should be able to give back to you guys. And I just like giving away stuff for free. It's just the kindness in my heart. So I hope you guys understand that. So if you do consider subscribing to my channel, hit the, hit the subscribe button right there to show your support, and it's free. And I would appreciate that a lot. You help me out and everybody in the fragrance community, too, that watches my videos. Okay, that being said, um, today's going to be my top three best blind buy fragrances ever. I don't condone anybody to go out and buy blind buy fragrances all the time. Not at all. It's very scary, and then you buy it, you go home, it doesn't work on your skin, it doesn't smell the same on your skin. It's just very scary and you do get annoyed after a while going back to stores and stores. And really you should go to a Nordstrom, Sephora, Macy's, test it out. You want to use a test strip, that's okay, but please spray it on your skin. It might smell totally different. I've been down this road before with a few fragrances that me and my girlfriend test out on my skin and her skin. So just be careful with that. Keep that in mind. So with that being said, here's my top three best blind buy fragrances. What are your top three best blind buy fragrances? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Okay. This fragrance here, my number three is CK1 Shock. Has notes of pepper, patchouli, musk. It's nice, tobacco. Oh, I like this one. For 20 bucks, CK1 Shock, you really can't beat it. It's 20 bucks. Only thing I wish it would last longer on my skin. Like I said, I get about four to five hours of longevity on my skin. Isn't the best. That first hour is very gorgeous. People like this fragrance. They like the way it smells. But after that first hour, like really nobody noticed me anymore. Like I really had to dig into my skin to smell it. Pretty sad, but the $20 fragrance, you know, people nowadays don't have a lot of money to buy fragrance. Maybe, you know, you want to buy a simple fragrance, 20 bucks, a great fall and winter fragrance. And you just want to wear it. You know, if you want to reapply, it's 20 bucks. You really are not going to bake the brand. The amount of $20 you spend on this fragrance here, it's like putting $20 of gas in your car. I mean, you can't really go wrong with CK One Shock. A simple $20 fragrance. I like it, I enjoy it a lot. People around me like it. Only, only, only thing I could say about the con would be I wish it would last six or seven hours. If it lasted seven hours, I'll be happy with it. I would probably put it more on my top fall winter list, but I can't. So my number three best blind by fragrance, CK One Shock for him. My number two. Oh man, it's getting down. Number two, I've talked about this fragrance on my channel recently. It's $20 fragrance. And I wanted to try it a while ago, but I really couldn't find a store that had it. I had to order it on FragranceNet, but when I went to Ross, they had it there. I was like, oh, they have it. Oh, it's 20 bucks. They didn't have the test smell there. So, you know, I'm just going to buy it. 20 bucks, I don't even care. And my number, tw my, my number $20 fragrance for number two on the list, Mont Blanc Individual. I will have with nothing else to say. This is a fresh raspberry, fresh clean fragrance. I like this one. I got it for 20 bucks at Ross. It's just, I like this one a lot. I enjoy it. I got compliments wearing this fragrance when I was going into the pizza place to get some wings one night. I sprayed it on within like 20 minutes before I left the house. I took a shower. And the woman was like, excuse me, sir. What are you wearing? And I was like, I'm wearing Mont Blanc Individual. She's like, I can smell you like as soon as you walked in the door. And I had another fragrance on too. Um, but she smelled this one and she really liked this Mont Blanc Individual. And I'm very happy for a $20 fragrance to get a compliment. You know, I've never really, you know, bought a lot of $20 fragrances. And let alone if I do, I barely would think they would get comments. But this one here got comments. Mont Blanc Individual. It's 20 bucks. The sweet raspberry touch. 
It's just fresh, it's clean. I feel like I can wear this any time, any time of year, and it's fine. I know a lot of people say I like to wear it in the fall and winter. I feel like you can wear this in the office, and you're not going to offend anybody. The projection is nice. Um, I get two hours of projection. I can smell it when walking around. It's really nice to get wafts of it. Uh, longevity, I get about a good six to seven hours on my skin, so it's nice. I wish I got eight or nine, but I get about six, seven hours. As long as I've got with seven hours and it works, Mont Blanc Individual. I really like the presentation of the bottle. And for 20 bucks, it's really nice. Like I said, I get over six hours. So I really like this. If you really want to reapply it, you can. It's 20 bucks. You figure. And it smells really nice. It's fresh. It's clean. And I've got cotton. This fragrant. So I enjoy it. So my number two is Mont Blanc Individual. Okay. My number one. Now, I bought this overseas because they don't sell it here right now um, in the United States. Now, you can order it. From the website, the, the the fragrance company, but you know, at the time I was like, you know what, I really want to try it overseas. And they didn't have it to try it overseas. They had it at the boutique, and I'm like, Ugh. and then I was gonna ask the lady, but she was busy with other customers. I said, no, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and buy it. I've heard so much good things about it. Some people love it. Some people say it's okay. Some people hate it. So, uh, my number one blind buy fragrance, which I got comment with the first time I wore it, is Allure Homme de Chion Blanche. This fragrance here is expensive. That's why I put it as number one. Compared to other $20 fragrances. This fragrance here, this is a Om, this is Blanche. I like this one. And it works for me. You know, people do say it has that kind of lemon, lemon meringue pie vibe. And I get that a lot. Some people say it smells like the cleaner. Like when you clean your bathroom and your kitchen and stuff like that. I get that too. But this one just smells like lemon meringue pie. It's nice. Women around me enjoy this fragrance. I wore this the first time coming back home from my vacation. Me and my girlfriend went to... Um, to Italy, it went to London, it went to Paris. So I picked this up on the way leaving uh, London slash Rome. Coming back to the United States, they had the boot, uh, Chanel boutique inside. So I picked it up. I said, I'm going to blind buy it and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll sell it. I like it. I enjoy it so far. And the first time I worn it, when I went back to um, the United States, I was sick. I went to Little Caesar to get some pizza. I sprayed it on. I said, you know what? I'm going to take a shower, spray this on, and see if I get comments. Even though I'm not in the mood, I just want to test it for testing purposes. And when I was there, a lady behind me was like, ah, oh, you smell. So alluring, you smell great. What are you wearing? And I said, Laurel Sport Edition Blanche. And she was like, oh, that's great. I didn't really want to talk about my YouTube channel. It's just like I was sick. I just want to talk about the fragrance was because she said she would, like to, she would like to buy that for herself as a female. I said, oh, cool. Okay. Like, that's different. You know, I, I guess, you know, this can be a unisex fragrance because, you know, a man or a woman could wear it. But I enjoy it. This is my number one, Laurel Sport Edition Blanche. I like it a lot. It smells really good. And some people are going to love this fragrance. Some people will say it's okay. Some people will hate it. So your own, it's on your, your own opinion on it. But this is my number one blind buy fragrance. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. What's your top three blind buy fragrance that you uh, that you love and forever will always love? Please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching this fragrance video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like men's fragrance reviews, female perfumes, and you like free giveaways, please consider hitting the subscribe button to show your support for my channel. It's free and it helps me a lot on my channel. I appreciate it a lot. Until my next fragrance video, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.